Hello everybody, welcome back to Burnt Church. We're sawing cross ties here today, or railroad ties, whichever one you want to call it. This one here is a pretty rough one. They're seven and an eighth by nine and an eighth is what size we make them, and these are out of white oak. I'll bring y'all along with me on this whole log right here, and we'll see what it'll turn out. I'm trying to get one of them out of it, and I have to try to leave the heart in the center. These boards that I'm cutting off of it, they are an inch and an eight thick. My blade's starting to get dull. This is our last log of the day right here. And it's been one of them rough days. It don't seem like nothing has went right today. These railroad ties, that's what most all the sawmills around here saw is railroad ties. You'd think they'd finally get enough of them, but they sell a bunch of them different sawmills around here. There's one fella got a wood miser LT70 just like this one, and he saws, I think he said he sawed a hundred ties a day on it. Now, I hadn't saw that many myself, but he said he saw that many. I figure about 70 is a good day for us. We, uh, we hadn't sawed very many railroad ties in a good while. The last time that we were sawing them, I was new at running this. So I believe I could saw probably around 70 now. It's taking me a little longer on this log than normal because my blade's dull. My blade wasn't dull, we'd go on through it a little faster, but I know right now if I push it, it's going to pop that blade. These boards coming off of this, they used to bring pretty good money, but they went way down for us selling them. Now you go to the bowls or somewhere to buy them and they're outrageous why the old lumber is but for us to sell it it's gotten real cheap again I don't really know for sure how much the ties are a piece the last ones we sold now like I said it's been it's been a while back they were uh, 30 $35 a piece, I think, is what they were. I'm going to turn this up after this cut here. I'm down to nine and an eight right here. We'll turn it up and work it down to seven and eight. If y'all new here, Hit the subscribe button, it would sure help us out a lot. We've probably, time this video comes out, we've probably done got a thousand subscribers, but we still need a lot of watch time. It's just hard for us to get the watch hours. Most viewers don't watch long enough. Most of them, our average view is around three minutes or so. And I don't blame people. It probably gets boring after just a little while with somebody that's not interested in this.
I'm anxious to see what these boards bring. The last time we had any white oak sold it, they didn't do very good at all. The best that you could get was $3,000 a board feet. They called that the number one. But you usually don't have much of that whenever you get saw milling. I'm gonna roll it over now and see what these boards on this other side look like. Those there don't look the best in the world. The side that has the prettiest boards, that's usually the side I try to cut the most boards out of. Because the tie, as long as it don't have holes in it, It'll bring $35, I think is what it is. But the lumber, if I can turn it around and get lumber without knots in it, it'll make the lumber bring more. That's, this log here, it kind of looks like it's got a hole in the end of it, but I don't think that's anything serious. I thought I saw a spot out there on the log on the side just a minute ago. I'm fixing to go out there and look to make sure because if there is a little spot on it, I probably need to saw it out. I said that the ties didn't matter. The knots don't really matter on the tie, but now they don't want a tie that has holes all in it. They'll, they won't buy it or they'll give you a real cheap price for it. Yeah, that hole was a little worse than I thought. We may not be able to save it. I'm going to regroup here. I'm going to make my tie nine inches the other direction. Uh, so I'm going to lose two little thin boards. So we're going to go down to seven this way. And then we're going to go to nine the other direction. Maybe it'll make sense to you once I start sawing. It may not make sense to me. I think this will get the hole out of it. At least I hope it does. It looks like this will be the best way after going out there and looking at it. Yeah, like I was saying, just knots and things on a railroad tie, they don't, they don't usually say much about it. So we always try to turn them and get our best boards off of it. All right, we're down to seven here now. I hope y'all probably be able to see if it blows sawdust up out of that spot out there. It didn't blow sawdust that time. A while ago I saw it blow sawdust. The reason I knew there was a hole there. Yeah, that's gonna work good here now. Now I gotta get nine this way. I'm gonna look and see that the other side's any better. This side here got a lot of knots. I don't think there's much difference. This side might be a little better, so I'm gonna take my boards off a bit. And we're going for nine inches this way. This is my last cut here. It looks like it's took me about 10 minutes to saw this log. And that's a little slow. But like I said, the blade's dull. And this is the last log of the evening, so I wasn't really trying to push it real hard.
always park the mill back down at this end because our diesel drum and stuff right here that way I can fill it up at times of the morning and don't have to move it around any we've got two bumps of ties right here's what they look like there's 25 in a bunk and that's two bunks we had those bands tight, and when we picked them up with the lift, it, they squeezed together, I guess, a little bit, loosened the band up. We've got close to half for a third stack over here, too. That's what we can start working on. Got 11 there. And almost a stack of lumber. And we like one run right here having a full stack. We stack them 30 boards high and no more than 42 inches wide is what they want us to make our stacks. They've done a pretty good job on this stack keeping it straight up and down. Well, I thank y'all for watching, and I pray God blesses you, and I'll see you in the next one.